but as you may have seen in the last couple of episodes of my test of well, one allowed instruction. So this one, this episode is going to be in creative, We're making kind of a nuclear kind of hazard containment thing. So you know in real life where the government, after there's like a nuclear event, the government come and contain it. So safety first. Got an anvil, golden armor, and some protection. So this is kind of a tutorial on how to make it. First thing is for safety. So armor, we name it hazmat helmet. Has my chest plate. Yes. And has my leg on the green too. Then has my boots. Then yeah, because protection. Now, when I'm building it, I'm going to wear this. But later on, I'm going to get chest. Later on, I'm going to use this the chest that I've just got. And that's going to be the entrance. So, I'm just going to put this on, take off my armor. I'm going to get rid of that. Start fresh next episode. Put this on. You can have other enchantments on yours. So, now I'm going to start the door mechanism. So I need lots of flash potions. You need nine, what you'll need is nine flash potions of harming. Potion of harming, instant damage two. Some chests, some levers, redstone lamp, redstone heaters, redstone dash. Wait, brush plates, brush plate, iron doors, iron. Now this isn't the most nice looking build. Um, you can decorate as long as you follow this. You can um, update it as in like when you've built this, you can add torches inside or add another on the top that looks nicely. So I'm gonna work out a place for the door when it's a bit far out. I'm going to do a, a big circle. So you make your door frame. This door. Put your there. Put a bit of you go straight back, throw that in the fire. I'll actually go to the and then throw the walls in. And then do the same thing again. So this is making it an airlock. We want that structure. That. And this is closing. So then underneath these is the big rest of the super. It's gonna place these blocks there. Uh, 
Um, so, that is not reserved from there. But then you press red on lamp there. So that sh when these doors are open, the lamp lights up, and that shows you that the radiation coming out of here. So this is why it's an airlock. So. And then you need to screw a layer on the outside. Just make it look nice and faded. To zero on this side. That's your airlock, and then you do similar bit on the front here. You get a dispenser. This one is just dispenser. Don't need that. Don't need that anymore. Dispenser and. Well, the light for redstone is enough, which should light for redstone is enough, which should be there. And then it goes on, which is the bottom there. Then you can use this. This is also the key to come. This is the end. Oh, 
Alright, so I'll see you later with some stuff. So, when you come in, So obviously you wouldn't be splashed and splashed by you have it in real life. But this is just to get the effect of So now this that's kind of the airlock door. This is then you can do it into just one. Make extend it by two. So currently, but this door. So then you then you put the droppers, dispensers with the harming. This is why you need this because this protects you against the harming. So now you can just go into one. You build up your walls, however high you want. There is a mechanism that you need to do, but for the ventilation, but to stop the radiation from escaping. I'll show you that when I've kind of done the outline to the walls. So I'm just building the outline now. Do it whatever size your crater is. Just gonna need to leave a couple of gap. So I can go in, I'm gonna go in and you can do it however high you need so if you want. That's the height of the door needs to be unless you want to make more blocks gap. Yeah. 
I'm gonna put on this in this one. It's just the way I've exploded it. This is just into my little circle and you just still have to follow the same stages, I suppose. Kind of. I I'm not like fitting it around my explosion. I'm just do you know what I mean? Not perfectly. So I'm just currently making that then. Um, yes, as I said, there's, there is a mechanism we need to I need to do, but I need to kind of do the walls. You can skip this bit if you want. It might be a bit tedious. But the point is, it's we just there, I suppose. So. Yeah, I, I need to do it a couple of times. So. I think it'll be like helpfully. Uh, as I say, it's kind of an angular pattern. It's not, um, lots of nights, got lots of nights to be on there, isn't it? Like this. Level shapes. That means I don't know. So, I'm going to do this a couple of times. So, and there's a, there's a central bit here. So, I've just done one entrance and exit to make it easy. Obviously, do not for a big pause, guys. Anyway, while I'm doing this, hope the me is well. If you've not joined yet, just all you need to do is subscribe and put the notifications bell. If I want to get a million, I'd like to get a thousand. Just this is a big game. So please join. And now, uh, any let you let it out as you come in or out. Um, no mobs will be able to escape. Unless, yes, unless you're going in or out and let something in. You should be up there. Shouldn't is my name. Ex extra non-harmful mobs can spawn. It's very unlikely given it's 
I would try to eliminate somehow whether there's lanterns or whatever looks good, soul torches maybe. But you can see when I come to kind of the building stage. This is kind of the boring stage. We've got kind of three or four. So we've got the airlock doll and the radiation imitation thing that I showed you. The second is the walls and the roof. Third is the roof. And the last one is kind of decorating and lighting. Kind of little like, ideas to embellish it. Um, you can, as I say, it, as long as you follow this to whatever your ratio is. Um, kind of like put another material on the outside. You are in another material. The iron is the best to kind of contain the radiation. So after this, I'm going to go on to stage three of the build, which is um, the roof. So that this is kind of main part it's all really about containment this and then the fourth section is the main. so for example you could put on the outside just on the on the walls and the roof um you can't really put on the door um black concrete or black um use glazed terracotta it has to be solid block or um, there's a chance of escaping. You can't use slabs or stairs on any of the builds, really. Yeah, the only non solid block would be redstone or push plates. Okay. As long as you don't use stairs, you should be okay. And if there's any bits, I do it by, by free at first. If there's any bits, you can kind of, um, like up there, it's kind of a bit taller than three blocks. What I'm going to do is kind of make another roof, kind of a bit that goes up and then into a very kind of smaller roof. But I am going to do that kind of the perimeter, so maybe like two blocks from the outside. That's what I'm going to do. Um, because I've kind of got. You're going to need some other materials in my inventory, but um, ladders because there will be an, uh, an escape route. It also has an arrow. In case the, there's a fire started, or there's a fire near the door to the real world, because obviously you don't know, okay, so you know, die. There's explosives like burn up these people the energy. So, the cables used in the last episode, I believe. Also, um, and the more effect, but the more effect. So if you that you only have to do the airlock door if you want to um you know, be able to go in and the safety protection stuff. Otherwise you can just go like that. Not go the airlock door. 
look nice just in case it looks nice so I'm just going to go ahead. That's my thing. Is that the difference? So I'm going to go like how many gaps it is. And then I'll go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to just do a line around the wall, where the wall, the wall is going to be just going to be a bit higher. This is the highest I can do, yep. Yeah. So I usually kind of try and do a couple of blocks with the surface, so maybe two more like that, so it's not out too long. Then it just gets like that effect. So it's kind of I'm going to also try and make it a bit more natural than this, then I'm going to do on this episode, but these are all, these are all much as my opinion. If you want to why it's kind of because, um, you know, I won't make it more natural, you know, because I think some people make it look a bit like a hill, kind of, kind of losing it, I, I would just do it like a square. So, I might be deciding that I'm going to give them a chance of time. Depends on how long I can spend on that on this tape. Ten minutes. So I might do some of the same stuff again, but I don't know. And after this I'm going to do a showcase video, yeah. which will also be my testing world playlist series playlist. I just need to fit in the whole roof, yeah. both roofs. So, actually, wait a minute. Yeah, so this is just kind of like the up wall. So you'll obviously be able to get in down here. But it'll look a lot better when it's finished. And now it just looks like this. It's a bit slab sliding. I have done this on the bubble before at a smaller scale. You know, I did um, in my SP, I didn't do on camera. I made a big city and there's a small square that I'd had a. Based off the South Square in London.
it. Oh, that noise is. Yeah, because this is kind of for uh, if your friends or join you testing or whatever, whatever world. You don't want them to leave. Well, I'm just going on. So I'll probably finish it with some commands or a camera or something. If you want to skip this bit, you can. I'm just gonna finish this bit with plants, so it's a little bit. So I'm just gonna finish this up with plants with play. I use commands quite often, but I find it easier. It is easier. I guess I'll have to do it by hand then. I'm just going to check that is. Yep. I don't know why it is that. Some stuff is very clearly in the world. This was the site of the war between a thousand plus three zombies, as affectionately named by me. That was episode two of the Testing World. I kind of created a safe house if you've seen it. I created a safe house, I had the layers, I had the wall, I had I had a bit crater. Down there, I had this with the wall that you can see now with the other brick. The fence I had down the hill. Um, what else did I have? I had saw and more fire and kinetic fire. Uh, then I had a mark bucket, which is where you can fall out of Then I had my base. I also had the obsidian tower, which got breached one time, I believe, and we, and you could go up to the top and there's little K bars there, which were like explosives. I can really do in this area and out there. So they were trying to kill the zombies. So I I don't like that. I hate zombies as much as that guy. Let's see if that works. Yeah, I'm feeling.
put some lips on and then chop it and then warm that. That's that bit of the roof. Now I need to do kind of section it off into squares. So it's kind of coming into big blocks and they aren't really uh, too big. So I can kind of work around with them. There's a minute. And even that bit was a bit too unfinished to work, so I was just rendering it a bit. You probably won't find it, but. Please, guys, and the beautiful stuff I've been using. I'm not going to keep further this in, and I'll, um, part two will be, I'll just finish the roof, and then I will. Explain how to decorate how to you can decorate it and do stuff like different light lighting and how you take space out. Okay, so see ya. Good night.